Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of Voice Bootcamp. In this particular lab, I'm going to show you how to create an instance for Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise 10.5. Instances are required in order for you to create a call center for a particular client. Now, you can have multiple instances for one company with a different department, or you can have one instance for one client and then have multiple instances to serve multiple clients, for example. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is verify my Active Directory because in one given Active Directory, you can only create one ICM instance root. So this is my Active Directory. I will go to the Active Directory users and computers and I will see that it, I will, I'm going to verify that there is no, in this particular root, a forest, that there is no Cisco uh, ICM root, which is basically um, the container that contains all the contact center related information. Now, we, now that we have verified that there is no container for Cisco contact center enterprise, let's go to our site A and we're going to click on domain manager right here. You can also access this tool by going to UCC tools, selecting domain manager. Now, you notice how the Oct the Active Directory or the domain name is automatically selected. That is because this particular server is already a member of that particular domain, as you can see. See, domain pod1.com. So because of this membership, the domain is automatically selected. Now, if I try to expand it, there will be nothing available at this stage because we just verified that Contact Center does not have any sort of container for Active uh, Contact Center Enterprise. So Active Directory doesn't have any sort of container for the Contact Center Enterprise. So we're going to say we're going to add a Cisco root. So click Add, select the domain, Active Directory, click OK. So what it does, it creates kind of a, a, IC, a Cisco ICM. Now this is the root for the entire call center for that particular active, active directory. Now typically you can have multiple forests, different domain for an active directory. Maybe you have more of four or five different individual active directory. So you can create multiple ICM, uh, Cisco ICM root or in a short form, uh, another form container. So let's go ahead and go back to the Active Directory. Let's try to refresh this. And as I try to re refresh this, you see how Cisco ICM container is created. Underneath that, two security group has been created. And those are security group for domain local. So what does it contain? Well, 